Hey, this is John Cena, and you are watching this WWE Fan 13. Hey guys, uh, future uh, Kayla here. I don't know what I did to these clips when I was filming them, but as you're going to see, I look as white as a ghost. So with that being said, I didn't want this video to go to waste and I wanted to upload it because I did buy these cards and I did want to show you guys. So I really hope you guys can see it. If not, I'm really sorry and I hope you guys still enjoy the video. And I promise this will never ever happen again because next time I will check the footage before I keep filming. So with that being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed and here I am if you can see me. Hey what's up guys and welcome to today's video. So today's video is going to be a WWE card unboxing basically like I'm just going to be doing a card a card haul. Um, today uh, Fern and I went to Walmart to go get a cover for her car because te we're about to have like a uh, it's going to freeze in Texas basically like last year um, but we're in El Paso. So last year we didn't get hit as hard. I just, uh, last year her car, her windows froze and there was snow on it. And it was a kind of a little mess for her last year. So uh, this year I said, we're gonna get your car cover. So while we're at Walmart, we uh, went to go to the card section. There were no Pokemon cards. That's what I was looking for. But instead, for the first time in a long time, I found some WWE trading cards. Um, it's been a pretty long time since I found these some cards. Um, so I put a poll on Instagram. There was two kinds of cards. There was these WWE 2021 trading cards and there was a 2021 heritage cards. So I put a poll up and as you see, these won. So I picked these up. These were 20 bucks at Walmart. Um, so I decided to pick some up and make that our video today. So with that being said, let's get started and let's open these up. To begin with, on the cover, there's Kevin Nash and, uh, and Scott Hall. And on the side, we have Baszler and Nia Jax. On um, the front, we have Lashley, Sasha, and Bailey. And yeah, so it says 2021 trading cards collect autograph from your favorite superstars. So we'll see if I'm lucky enough. And then on this side, it says look for all the film strip relics featuring uh, memorable WWE matches and whatnot. So yeah, there's the cards. And then on the top, it has the Street Profits. So let's open these up. Let's see. Hopefully I get some good stuff. And while I'm opening this up, I just want to say anyone to who lives in Texas or who's going to be affected by this storm, please stay safe. Um, hopefully this year in El Paso, we won't get hit too hard. We didn't get hit hard last year, uh, thank God. But to anyone like San Antonio, Dallas, um, Houston, and all those cities that got hit last year, guys, stay safe. You know, just stay inside. Make sure you have uh, your phones charged, water, all that. Anything you need um, and whatnot. So, hope you guys stay safe. Um, so, first, I'm going to point out, I think there's 10 packs. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, 11 packs. I brought that was an extra pack. So, we got 11 packs. So, let's get the first one open. All right. So, here's pack number one. You think I'd be good at opening packs with how many packs I get from Pokemon. Alright, we got this one open. So, I don't think there's any kind of card trick like how Pokemon you put four to the front and then the best ones in the back. No, but I don't think so. So, let's just get these started. So, we got, first we got Kofi Kingston. And then we have the Usos defeat the Miz and Morrison. And then we have memorable entrances, Shawn Michaels. Yeah, from WrestleMania 25. I was at the WrestleMania the year after this. And then we got Roderick Strong. And we got Indy Hartwell. And we got Sheamus defeats Jeff Hardy. And the last card, we got the Saray. I'm probably going to butcher that name. But yeah, there's the first pack. All right, we got a second pack right here. Let's see. Hopefully, hopefully out of this box, we get at least one like good, like... I don't know, autograph card or like a piece of the mat or piece of a shirt. I don't know. I don't know what's... I haven't bought in these cards in a while. So we will see. Okay, so we got those open. So first we got John Morrison defeats Kofi Kingston. We got uh, Dewdrop. God, I hate that they changed her name. And then we got uh, Angel Garza makes his Raw debut. And then we got Rick Boogs, Boogs, 
And then we got WWE Champion Drew McIntyre defeats Seth Rollins. We got Tony Storm. We got AJ Styles defeats Shinsuke Nakamura in an Intercontinental Championship Tournament match. And the last, oh no, that was the last card, okay. So there's that pack. Okay, so we got the next pack. Let's see, what do we got? So we got another Roderick Strong. Uh, we got Alexa Bliss. We got Kane. Hopefully, there you go. Uh, we got the coolest mixed tag teams, R-Truth and Carmella. That's pretty cool. You guys can see right there. And then we got The Miz defeats Kofi Kingston. We got a Damian Priest card. And last, we got Rey Mysterio qualifies for the men's Money in the Bank ladder match. Okay, next pack. Let's see. What do we pull? We got Roman Reigns. Hopefully, there you go. Roman Reigns. We got a Drew McIntyre wins the WWE Championship at WrestleMania. We got a Liv Morgan. We got Bobby Lashley at MVP defeat the Viking Raiders. We got almost, almost. And then we got Roman Reigns defeats King Corbin in a false count anywhere match. And then last card, we got Alex. Okay, guys, we got pack number five, I believe. So, so far, you know, we've gotten some good cards that I would eventually get signed. Uh, we got Tamina. And then we got King Corbin qualifies for the men's money in the bank. Oops, did I drop something? No. Okay, then we got RKO, a phenomenal swerve. So, there's that card right there. And then we got Indy Hartwell. We got Angel Garza defeats Herm uh, Humberto Cario. And then we have Rhea Ripley, one of Fern's favorites. And then we got Roman Reigns defeats King Corbin in a steel cage match. Okay, so I believe pack number six right here. Let's get this opened up. I wonder what like the odds of getting an autograph are. So we got Jeff Hardy attack Sheamus. And then we got Pete Dunne. And then we got The New Day retains his tag team titles. We got Dexter Loomis, but this is kind of like a shiny card. Honestly, guys, I have not bought cards in a while. So is that a good thing? Let's see. Does it say anything about it? NXT, Dexter Loomis. I don't know what the shiny card means, but I will look it up because I'm not buying cards in about a year. So we got this one. I'm going to look up what that means. And then we got Commander Aziz. And then we have uh, Dolph Ziggler and Robert Roode earn the advantage for the Elimination Chamber. And then we got Shelton Benjamin. Okay, we got pack number seven. I'm pretty sure seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, eleven. So seven. All right. And I'm sure people are probably in the comments telling me what that shiny card means, but I have no idea. So Finn Balor. After I open all these up, I'm going to check. And then we got Rollins defeats Mysterio. We got Walter. We got Hall of Fame NWO arrive in WWE. It's pretty cool. Uh, and then we got Roderick Strong. And then we got uh, King Nakamura. We got Cesaro defeats Drew Gulak. And yeah, that's for pack number seven. Okay, so we got pack number eight. Let's see, let's see. We got the Usos return to help Roman. We got Charlotte Flair. We got a Undertaker defeats AJ in the Boneyard match. Pretty cool. And then we got another glittery card, The Miz and Morrison become number one for the Tag Team Champions. What do these glitter cards mean? Are they just glitter because they want to be? I'm gonna have to look that up. And then we got Lashley at MVP defeats the Viking Raiders, which I already got that one. We got Goldberg. 
we got the Street Profits defeat Angel Garza and Austin Theory. Okay, hold on. I opened this pack and it came with one thing. Is this good? Is oh dang. Okay. Okay. Is this good? I'm assuming this is good. I don't know. But it says Razor Ramon versus Shawn Michaels. WrestleMania number 45 out of 199. This was by itself in the thing. Do all these boxes come with one? Do they? Do they all come with one? Or did I just get lucky? I don't know. But anyways, um, I got, <clears throat> yeah, Razor Ramon versus Shawn Michaels. Number 45 out of 199. I don't know if you'll be able to see that right there. 45 out of 100. And, no, you're not going to be able to see that very well. Uh, try to get it to focus. I can't. It's too small. But I promise you it's number 45 out of 199. So that's pretty cool that uh, I was able to get one of these. I don't know. Do they all come with one? Can someone tell me that? I I'm getting back into cards. Pokemon brought me back to wrestling cards. Um, but it says, congratulations. You now own a commemorative match film strip relic. Razor Ramon versus Shawn Michaels. From um, March, 20 March 20th, 1994. Yeah, that's really cool. So this card came by. Let's see. Can you see the film strip? Can you see it? He's jumping off the ladder. I don't know if you can. I'll try to show you better right now at the end of this video. But that's pretty cool. That came by itself in the pack. So let's go into the next pack. So yeah. Do they all come with something? Or did I just get lucky? I don't know. But anyways. So we got Reggie. We got Edge makes a surprise return. We got Eva Marie. Uh, AJ Styles defeats Shinsuke. We got Randy Orton defeats Edge. We got Timothy Thatcher. And the last one, we got Dirty Championship. Drew McIntyre defeats Orton. Okay, last pack. Come on. So we got Sami Zayn wins the Intercontinental Championship. We got The Miz. We got Miz and Morrison win the titles. We got this really cool Roman Reigns memorial, me memorable entrances from WrestleMania in Orlando, where me and one of my friends, Vince, went. Uh, we got Dakota Kai. We got Sheamus wins a 10-man rumble. Was it 10-man? Yeah, 10-man battle royale. And then last but not least, we got Mandy Rose. So I'm going to go check out what these cards mean because I have absolutely no idea. I'm sure I have people in my comments telling me. But why are these cards shiny and what is the deal with this? Do all packs come with one of these? So I'm going to be back and I'll let you guys know. All right, guys. So I have no idea what any of these mean. So for those of you who collect WWE cards more than I do, can you guys possibly let me know what these mean? So I have this one which is the number 45 of 199, Razor Ramon, Shawn Michaels, the film strip part that they're talking about in the series. And then for some reason, I have these two cards that are really shiny. I don't know if it means anything or if I'm just pulling things out because if Pokemon, if it's shiny, it relates in my head that actually means something. So I have this one with the Miz and Morrison. Cause I'm pretty sure I have this one, but it's not like this. So that's why I'm wondering, what does this mean? And then I have Dexter Loomis, which I'm pretty sure I got another one that is not shiny. So yeah, if anyone can let me know what these three are and if they're good or if I missed any that are in my pile that I didn't notice, let me know, guys. If you guys want to see more of these, uh, give it a thumbs up because there's a bunch of these packs at Walmart now. Finally, that Christmas is over, so I can always um, go pick up another box if you guys want to see more. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure all of you guys stay safe. If you guys are in Texas or anywhere, the storm's going to be hitting. And I will see you guys hopefully on Friday. Um, I think we should be good here in El Paso. So we should not lose our power or Wi-Fi. God, hope, I hope not. And um, so I'll probably have a video Friday. If not, well, then I'll see you guys when I do. So yeah, I'll see you guys with the next video. Are you a supporter of the Marine Corps? Absolutely. Great, because a former decorated member of the United States Marine Corps needs your support. And his name is John Cena.